Knock, knock. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good, bro. You ready for the three o'clock? Yeah. Okay. So what originally made me want to go uh, towards photography was, I'd have to say, seeing my mother be a photographer as I grew up. She did a lot of stuff in the community, a lot of stuff at family reunions, a lot of stuff at the church. And while I hated it at the time, I also loved it and appreciated it as well uh, because I saw the way it drew people to want to create memories. A buddy of mine asked me to hold his camera for his wedding and take some shots. And when I saw the pictures that we got back, I immediately thought to myself, like, I could do this. And that was when I got real serious about it at that point. I thought it was such a beautiful, creative gift for someone to be able to have to capture things uh, in real life, in real time, but yet last a lifetime. I love shooting weddings, right? Probably, probably one of my um, favorite uh, types of shoots are weddings. And I think it's because it's a full day of events. You know, they can start at 11 o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, go to 9, 10 o'clock at night. But it's the progression of the day. It's the details of the dress, the shoes, the flower, the rings, the cologne, the perfume. It's all those things like that. You know, the bride getting ready, the groom getting ready and just seeing everything come into fruition and just the whole buildup of the day to the I do, to the celebration. Uh, so definitely I would have to say, you know, I really, really enjoy a good, a good wedding. Cheese. Nice smile, awesome job, good job. But I also enjoy family portraits, knowing that I play a part in something that 20 to 50 years from now will hopefully still be in the memories of, of a family. Uh, to senior portraits, capturing those you know special moments and celebrations of life, um, but all of those are, are are all special because I, I feel like as photographers, we don't maybe we do, but we don't realize just how important our role is in family because we capture so much. Initially, my thinking when I first got into photography in this area of the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area was, you know, there's a million photographers in this area. How am I going to break into it? But by the same token, knowing that this was a gift that was given to me, I knew that the people and the resources had to be there. There are a lot of creatives out here in this area that are so willing to share information, to share knowledge and skills. You know, again, social media, there's so many platforms and groups to belong to that can give you that information that you're looking for uh, to help you grow your business. And I appreciate it. I have no problem talking to other individuals about how to get started in photography. If I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me, I'm thinking about getting a camera, what should I get? The one that you can afford. That's the camera you get. The cameras and the technology is so advanced, it does a lot of the workforce. Now, there is, there's math that's involved because we have to know a lot of things as it relates to ISO and lighting and you know your f-stop, all those, the, the jargon that we use as photographers. But also, it involves the social part of it. Once that client has you know, gotten to the destination where you're shooting, you have to deal with the traffic they drove through, whether or not they're having a good morning, whether or not they lost a loved one within the last 48 hours. So there's all of that that the person brings to the shoot with them. So it's not just pointing the camera, turning on the lights and taking the picture. It's helping the person to really begin to calm down, become peaceful and just relax because that camera will capture everything that that person is dealing with, every emotion, every pain, every piece of joy. <laughs> And so I think as creatives, we also have to engage with people socially and emotionally and not just through, you know, the art itself. But I get inspiration from a number of different ways. You know, there's certain photographers that I follow um, that I absolutely just love their style. Um, even just going out, all right? If I go to a garden, if I'm in a city, if I'm in the country area, 
I'll see things that will give me inspiration. And to be honest, there's inspiration all around me. There's a lot of challenges in being a creative. Just technology and photography has changed. So much AI and our artificial intelligence is moving and evolving into photography where um, clients have higher expectations and different things that they're looking for. I think the biggest misconception is the term uh, and understanding of Photoshop. It's the biggest word we hear when we show up at a shoot. You know, oh, he can just Photoshop that. Well, that depends. The truth of the matter is that that's what you look like. And that's no, that's, that's not disrespectful, but it is what it is, right? If it's my style, that's one thing, but my style is not to Photoshop every single thing. Some things just shouldn't look natural as they are. I can speak for myself and the majority of the photographers that I know, we want to capture the true essence as best as possible. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll fix certain things and we'll do certain things, but at the end of the day, we still want you to look like you. I'm very intentional about my time. So whereas 10 years ago, I may have done three to four shoots in a day. I may have started at 8 a.m. and finished at 7 p.m. Feeling like that was success, at this point in my life, I want to be intentional. So for me, a successful day could be one shoot, but I did that one shoot well and I took my time with that one shoot versus the feeling that I'm booked and busy. You know, we hear that, that term a lot now. Don't get me wrong, it's a blessing to be booked and busy, but by the same token, I want balance. Balancing being a creative with also having a family and a wife and children and things. So, you know, for my future, you know, I just want balance, I want intentionality, and I just want to be as creative as I can. Um, and when I have inspiration, I want to be able to act upon it and make it happen.